Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's VR news. Let's start off with the new Tilt 5 AR glasses. Recently at Gamescom, we were shown a look at the Tilt 5. The Tilt 5 is actually an AR headset instead of a VR headset. It's used alongside its game board to play virtual board games on your table in real life. It even comes with a wand that acts as a controller for the game, making it more interactive. You can even play with your friends, even if they don't even own the glasses themselves, as it supports crossplay between PC and Android players. You will also need a PC to use it alongside a wire to connect the glasses. The Tilt 5 hasn't actually released yet. The whole set costs $359 or around £312 and comes with everything you need to set up and play, including extras like the kickstand set. Next, we have info on Project Cambria. So, as we all know, the Project Cambria is set to release this October. Well, this week, Meta signed a deal with Qualcomm for custom versions of their Snapdragon XR chips. These custom chips will most likely be used in Project Cambria. One thing that concerns me though, is that Meta are getting all the latest and greatest tech for their new headset. Now you may be thinking, how is that something to be worried about? Isn't that not a good thing? Well, the thing that made the Quest and the Quest 2 so popular was mainly the price point. With Project Cambria having all this expensive hardware, it's definitely not going to be as affordable as the Quest 2. In fact, there are rumours and speculation that it may even go up to around £800 or even over £1,000, making it even more expensive than PC VR headsets. However, these are just rumours and the final price is yet to be revealed, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, onto our games, we have Transformers Beyond Reality. Transformers Beyond Reality is an arcade shooter in VR that is just recently released on PSVR. It is still expected to release on Steam and maybe Quest, however, it got delayed a day before the PSVR release. The whole game is like one of those roller coaster shooters where you just continuously move forward while shooting things around you. It looks like this game would have been made like 6 years ago with that kind of gameplay. Plus with the $20 price tag, I don't know if this one will be worth it. But if that's your kind of thing, then this is probably your kind of game. Next, for all you standalone Quest 2 users, we have an official release date for the Into the Radius Quest version release, which happens to be in just a couple days on September 8th. If you love survival horror games, then you'll love this one. Now, this next news could be pretty big, if it is true, the biggest Fortnite leaker, Hypex, just tweeted that Epic have added Oculus related stuff in the recent update, which could mean future VR support for Fortnite. Of course, it will most likely only be a Quest exclusive, because only Oculus support was found in the files, and that Steam VR is Epic's competitor. The only way I see it being on PC is if Epic launches their own version of Steam VR. As one big problem with Epic Games for me is that they have no VR support. Making their own Steam VR version for their platform could be really big, especially for VR developers. One quick thing that I would just like to acknowledge before I end this, I just checked my phone and noticed that the Oculus app has now changed to the MetaQuest app. The app thumbnail is still the Oculus logo however. I guess they really want to go slow when moving from Oculus to Meta, as they've been transitioning Oculus to Meta for months now.